100 years ago, the world was first introduced to tear gas. The French military used it against the Germans in World War I to force their enemies out of their hiding places. It was used as an alternative to poison gas, which was banned by the Hague Conventions of 1899. 1919, the U.S. Chemical Warfare Service, led by General Amos Fries, develops tear gas grenades for riot control. It is easier for man to maintain morale in the face of bullets than in the presence of invisible gas. The goal, to break the mob mentality, isolate the individual, make them concerned with only one thing, running away. Do that and the mob will cease to exist. By the early 1930s, police departments were using tear gas. Prisons used it to prevent riots, and banks put it in vaults to prevent robberies. In the 1960s, the National Guard gassed Vietnam protesters, most notably on the Berkeley campus, where bystanders and children were caught in the fray. Today, tear gas has been banned on the battlefield, but it's still used to break apart riots and protests at home. 